You find me today outside Aldershot Railway Station. Today I've got a bit of a challenge during the ASNF overtime ban that's happening today. I'm aiming to visit 11 railway stations in the Alton, Aldershot, Guildford and Ascot areas. However though, the surface frequencies are very interesting. We're going to start with station number one now as we head into Aldershot station. So you now join me on the platform at Aldershot and this station opened on the 2nd of May 1870 by the London and South Western Railway. When I get to Farnham a bit later on, I'll explain why this station was opened much later. But to be honest though, Aldershot station just looks magnificent. It's got three platforms and it's got a lovely station building. Now the plan is, is to head towards Guildford and I'm waiting for the 0940 South Western Railway service to go to Ash and then on to Wanborough. So my train to Ash should be arriving now, let's head to station number two. So station number two that I'm stopping off at today is Ash. And honestly, this is a nice, cute station, to be honest with you. Really cute. Like it does have a level crossing, which we do love level crossings. And even though this station is operated by Southwestern Railway, it also has Great Western Railway services calling here as well, because we're on the North Downs line between Reading and Red Hill. But unfortunately, as I'm filming this today, even though Southwestern Railway is on an overtime ban, Great Western Railway actually on strike today. Now before I leave this railway station, let's talk about the history of this railway station, believe me. This station had a lot of name changes. Now it opened on the 20th August 1849 by the Reading, Guildford and Rygate Railway, which was taken over by the South Eastern Railway. Now when it was opened, it was actually named Ash, but in 1855 it was named Ash and Aldershot. In 1858 it was named Aldershot in brackets Ash. 1859 it was reverted back to Ash and Aldershot. In 1863, it was renamed to Ash Junction, and in 1926, it was renamed back to Ash. That is a lot of name changes. But anyway, we shall be leaving Ash on the 1017 Southwestern Railway service to Wanbra, which is the next station down the line. So I have now made it to station number three. Now at the start of the video, I said this station is called Wanbra, but that's mispronounced. It's actually called Wanbra. But honestly though, Wanbra station has very lovely station buildings on each platform. And this station actually opened much later because it opened in 1891 by the London and Southwestern Railway. So when I started the video older shot, I did say today was going to be quite challenging. Now during the ASNF overtime ban, Southwestern Railway have put a reduced frequency on. They're running most of the services, but there are a few services that are wiped off their system. And here at Wanborough, 
it should be a half an hourly service. But what they've done is with sort of the service patterns here and a few other stations that I'm stopping off at today is that they're running a 30 minute frequency, then an hour frequency, then a 30 minute frequency. So it's between 30 minutes to an hour each railway station. And this is why I'm not actually going to Guildford because there's actually no time to get to Guildford. So using one bro as a turnaround to wait for the 1059 Southwestern Railway Service, I will go back towards Aldershot, but I'm carrying on to Farnham, which is the fourth station that I'm heading to today. So we have now made it to station number four. This is Farnham. And I've also picked up a little coffee along the way because there's a coffee shop on the platform as well, Cafe Destino. This is also where the Guildford trains terminate because it's easier to go into Farnham train care depot, which is just west of the station here. And then they can reverse back out to form the next service to Guildford. But also with Farnham, it's got a lovely station building and it's also got a level crossing here as well. So I'm going to dive into the history of Farnham Station and also explain why Aldershot Station was opened much later. Now Farnham Station opened on the 8th of October 1849 by the London South Western Railway as a branch line from Ash towards Alton. Now the line actually took a different route. It actually went by two stations, Ash Green Holt and Tongham. In 1870 the line towards Aldershot was opened but that line by uh, Tongham and Ash Green Holt to Ash actually closed on the 4th of July, 1937. Now beyond far and towards Alton is all single track. We're passing loop at the next station that I'm stopping off at. And the next station is Bentley in Hampshire and not in South Yorkshire. The only problem is Bentley is an hourly service station. So I'm waiting for the 1156 Southwestern Railway Service to Alton. I'm going to head towards Bentley next and spend an hour at Bentley Station. So I have now made it to station number five. This is Bentley in Hampshire. And if you are familiar with the channel, you know I've been to Bentley, South Yorkshire loads of times, but Bentley in Hampshire is just absolutely magnificent. The station's just wonderful. The surrounding area is just wonderful. It's even got a barrow crossing here as well. This station's just absolutely magnificent. It's just blown my mind, to be honest.
So a bit of history about Bentley Station. It opened in July 1854 by the London South Western Railway. Also here was the Northern Terrace of the Border Light Railway, which opened in 1905, but closed in 1957. The line was kept open as emergencies for the Longmoor Military Railway until that line closed in 1966. Now, in case you're wondering why trains are passing through Bentley on the wrong line, it's because Bentley Station is actually on a passing loop. Like, I actually went through here yesterday to Alton for the Modern Rail Exhibition that was on in Alton. And the trains actually arrived on Platform 2, but today, everything is just using Platform 1. Fast trains go through Platform 1, stopping trains go through Platform 1. It's like Platform 2 is just redundant today. But honestly, though, this also makes Bentley a lovely quirky station as well. But we shall be leaving Bentley on the 1302 Southwestern Railway Service and we're going to Alton, the next station along the line and the terminus of this line as well. And to catch the train from Platform 2 to Platform 1, I'm just going to be using the barrel crossing to cross over some on the right platform. So we have now made it to Alton, and you don't change here for Alton Towers. That's in Staffordshire, not in Hampshire. But you can change here for the mid Hans Railway, which is a steam railway from Alton to Arlesford, also known as the Watercrest Line. But visiting the five stations we covered already has really been brilliant. I've still got loads more stations to go. But for now, all change with this video right here. Feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel members, Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Cytrace, thanks for watching, stay safe, I'll see you for another video down the line.